Now for a segment I'm very excited about. Actually was inspired by you guys after I admitted something on Friday. Yeah, Friday, Ali said she'd never seen any of the Star Wars movies. And it got us thinking about the social impact of missing out on big movies. Star Wars, Jaws, Rocky. There's a long list of these kind of things. But do you really miss out? Are you missing pop culture references your whole life? And it is a long list. I have not seen any on the list. So we're turning <laughs> to an expert. Professor Glenn Altschuler from my alma mater, Cornell University, joins us live via Skype now from Ithaca. Professor Altschuler, it's so wonderful to have you on our show this morning. Hi, Ali. How you doing? I'm great, thanks. So let's just get right to it. There was a big reaction after I said I'd never seen any of these movies. Why does it elicit such a large reaction? Well, it may be because people are worried about you, Ali. Uh, <laughs> But I think um, um, more generally, uh, movies for a long time has, have served as our cultural points of reference. Uh, in the 19th century, when you quoted from the Bible, everybody understood the references you were making. And every society needs a common core of references. In for, this, for, in for, for, for decades, the movies served that purpose. I'm not sure they serve many more. Uh, but they served them then. I think that's the question, because as we were trying to come up with a list of movies, we did have things like Jaws and Star Wars and Rocky and all movies really from the 70s that maybe lived into the 80s but had been seen by generations. Now with people so scattered and niched, do we have anything that, that is the same, that, that if you're missing out on it, you're missing out on these cultural phenomenons, these benchmarks? We're, 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 we're now uh, involved in what uh, uh, one scholar called uh, the big sort. <laughs> uh, uh, and, and, and that means we're divided into uh, smaller segments and the movies we choose, the movies we see, uh, are those common to our segment, uh, but maybe not to everybody. So if you are like me and you haven't seen any of these movies, what are you missing out on? Uh, certainly a lot of these uh, historical references when it comes to the movies. What else? Well, you're also missing touch points for understanding our history and our culture. Uh, Rocky, the Rocky phenomenon, is a phenomenon in which America was reacting against uh, perceived weaknesses uh, following Vietnam uh, and was asserting both a kind of masculinity and strength. Uh, sometimes you're also missing a language, mm. uh, who's Obi-Wan Kenobi, uh, and if <laughs> somebody uses that term, uh, it conjures up uh, images for you. Uh, and so when we talk, we're really in many ways locating ourselves by our age and where we were and what we liked. So a Ferris Bueller days off. Uh, is for those of us who associate our teen years yep. with a little bit of rebellion against authority, uh, of boredom in school. Now, I know, Ali, you were never bored in uh, uh, school. I saw you at first range. <laughs> I was always there taking diligent notes. But the I remember it. The bottom uh, line is we're not just missing movies. We're missing more than that. So we're going to have a big movie night and catch up on the things we have not seen here. Professor, we appreciate you being with us this morning. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor Altschuler. You've inspired me now to go out, get some popcorn, and we're watch these it. movies. I'm movie determined night. now. Teresa, I'm bringing you in.